Get over, they've got a free plant over on that site while Durka just distracts. There's a little more than that, actually. He's already got three kills, and sure, he'll be killed eventually, but he's done more than he needed to in keeping them in position. The B-side plant is underway. They've used a wall, but they didn't need to. And to catch him, but the thing is, there's barely any time left. They need to be on the spike roundabout now. Instead, they're still trying to fight the players in from behind. Fnatic are playing with their food, and while Nats... I guess he could try and do a little bit of extra damage. Maybe just die to the spike. That's all he's for not knowing where a lot of the players are. Mystic is just going to play within the smoke. And sure, they have lost one player along the way. But if they can keep this down to just a single man loss, that's absolutely fine for Fnatic, of course. On the other side of things, Defo trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But this time, it won't. About about Redgar, because Mystic, he does the same, right? He'll play like you think about buying right side. He'll activate up those... Uh, Snake bites and deal serious damage. Those cages have to go down. That's where the wall comes into play, and Dirk is caught out of position, but the trades are there. Quite that much space, Doma, but all right, I like it. Enemy down. I don't know how he's getting away with that one. <laughs> it's like a 20 bullet, a 20 uh, bullet spray, but hey, he got there. Yeah, that's more what I'm expecting from Shados. So you don't normally get away with that much when this man's on the other side. Probably one of the most clinical. Planted. He's got the, that radius inside his, his brain. So he, like, didn't even look. Like, cool guys don't look at explosions, right? And this is a bit of an awkward start. Durka popped his ult. He took a fight. You know, I'm not too worried because it's pistols. It's whatever. Then he updrafts again. He wants to continue getting aggressive. That wall leaves a gap for Doma to move on through. Usually you'll see that against rifles. He does it versus the pistols. It's a risk. But hey, it's paying off right now. Because they have only one enemy left to deal with. And if they just lose one rifle here, it's not the end of the world. Or just one player, rather. Other control into the kitchen. Shados is, however, ready, but he doesn't find the shots. Oh, even the spray through the walls a bit dangerous. Redgar was distracted, but the flank doesn't pay dividends this time. Nats on the double, but won't get away with his life. Fnatic. Oh, he makes it over to the side. Okay. Fine can be found. Sell. Oh, never mind. Chronicles wall banged him to death. Oh, that's that. Well, that's just sad. He's still alive, man. Snake bites, off shots, wall bangs, boaster. He gets it onto Redgar. Now, he was low HP, but it's still the operator now swapped over to a rifle. Defo knows that his opponent is tagged up, but so is he. The HP just about even when you take Vandals into consideration when the spike now planted. Hunter's Fury to be popped. He's searching for a victim, trying to find Defo or bait him into a fight, but Defo doesn't move. The recon out for the left side. Defo needs to swing. This is so awkward, but Boaster gets away with it in the end. Unless players go there to take control. Speaking of taking control, well, that wall's kind of stopped what Durka wanted to do, but maybe it's for the better. Up above, it's going to be players pushing through, but just getting torn apart. And with Shados and Redgar left alone to try and make this happen and a very late flank from Redgar, Spike the chances planted. are looking very, very slim. A shame having popped your, your uh, Viper's Pit. You don't expect them to come towards you, but you also don't expect your A-Site to fall quite as quickly as it did. I, I really like the variation. We'll talk about it in a moment as this is still being attempted, but Doma is just not missing a beat. It's always good when your Sage is fragging out that Rez is going to be built up faster and faster. And Redgar, this has turned into just maybe trying to earn that ultimate back a little bit. Get an extra kill or two to put those ult points on the table. But again, 7 and 0 and the variation. Poison Orb to stop the peak up on Catwalk, but that poison's not going to last all too much longer. Redgar falls right away. The shot starts of Boaster making Jonas jealous. As Durka takes down Nats, it's not looking too good for Gambit. They need to turn up here, man, but... There's just nothing they can do. Then the orb comes in. Shados is 50 HP before he even gets near the edge of it. And Durka ensures he doesn't get out. Defo, the man who has the weaker weapon we talked about, you said he needed to kill everybody to have that ult online. Well, he needs to kill everybody to win the round now. Never mind his ultimate. And he's about to be pushed from kitchen. Good night and sweet dreams. Plank being watched now. This is where Magnum has got a pretty big task. There's a couple of big weapons. They're not Magnums, but they are sheriffs coming his way and he's able to take a double before backing away 57 hp on the board i mean he's definitely in danger so is durka falling this could fall apart very very quickly indeed that shock dart does some damage but magnum i think it was a, a, a teammate's shock dart is that boaster okay hold on what, what the hell's going on mystic and magnum are both down 2v2 Spike ticking away. The time is not really on their side, though, because they've still got plenty to play with. And with Doma being all alone, a cage above. Oh, the ult that ruins it for him. He has to take a fight. And a big whiff 
leads to Gambit getting one on the board at last. It's almost another kill for him. Redguard down to 26 HP. The knives popped, but no reward. No return for it. Bar the damage. Nats, Redgar, Shados all low. But with Magnum falling, the chances of winning start to seriously decrease for Fnatic. They have got the B site for free and they're walking around there, but they're so split, Tom. One player in each avenue of the map as Boaster will try to sell somewhat of a fake. He's been spotted and that'll certainly cause a distraction. Mystic! Oh, the op gets to line up on him, leaving Doma alone. And, well, he has the spike. But five kills to get if he wants to win this round. One day. The first one will be for free. Either. Duna looks like they're safe to get that plant down and fall on back, but they have lost Mystic, and that's a huge part of the, not just their post plan for snake bites, but just the wall that those players would have to push through. Now gone, it's out of play. And with him falling yet again, Gambit have the advantage on this comeback, but they need to win the duels. And even that, it's not always easy. Oh, I'm going to see... I think it's actually going to be destroyed. They've used the Hunter's Fury, but actually, it hasn't actually gone down. A little bit of a problem. Magnum, he's still trying to cling on to life. Two <gasps> kills already. A third for Magnum. He's trying to take it on his own. And now Defo's been caught. He's going to be killed off. How have they lost this round, Mitch? Magnum they, with a 4K on the site, and they failed it, destroying the lockdown. They missed it. Dash, so he's still going to take the fight, but not win it. Durka still falls from Chronicle's backside play. And as we look at Fnatic moving forward, they have a lot to work with in terms of util still, but they need to deal with that operator. Support comes in from Nats. Blades out, and they're not even needed at this stage because Nats comes out with a... Deny it. Dome are even just going to hide within the poison cloud. Only gets one for his troubles, but his teammates have had time to rotate in, Mitch. Not only that, look at Magnum. He's on his way up behind yet again. If they're not expecting it, they haven't been watching the game so far. They haven't been paying attention. In fact, they hear him running down to mid. They're trying to pursue him, but that pulls them away from the site, leaving 1v1s to be played out. Down goes a cloud burst. The spam. Shados is gone. Shock darts, recons, everything Chronicles got is being thrown at this round. But Fnatic will still come out on top and put... We have... We'll see if they get anything for it, because it looks like Fnatic are all too ready for it. But there we go. Magnum live by the sword, die by the sword. Gets beaten at his own game. Almost poetic, Tom. Ooh, see you later, Boaster as well. This is starting to look good for Gambit. Mystic trying to come back in on the flank. He's going to have heard the ice wall. Doma peeks in, but it's only going to be for one in this round. They're going to be forced away from the spike at least, so the chances are Fnatic can work out. This is clear, and already Dirk is going to pick off another. He actually goes forcing himself into, I believe, his own teammate Snakebite, and Mystic, he's just going to be sticking this one to half. He's brought it to a possible scenario, but he needs to find both kills, and this time, Defo is there to... Oh, the cage. He, if he was in it, it could be huge, but instead caught outside of it. He'll wait a moment before coming in to provide that support. His teammate distracting them. Here's Mystic swing. No? Uh Not quite in the dirt just yet, although every time he clips the wall, it becomes a little bit more problematic. This duel is not something I ever want to see again as Durka rounds the corner, takes out his doppelganger, and they've already got the resin play as well, Mitch. Uh, he's already three kills under his belt. In the oh, Durka, there's a fourth. Could this be the ace? The dash in play? He wants to do it. You can feel it. Oh, but Mystic destroyed that gives away the fact that they're definitely moving towards this side of the map updraft from defo doesn't really catch much and mystic shuts him down there's 12 seconds left redgar making a big play but that plant has to be obtained and mystic's gonna go straight through the wall to his death a 2v2 how quickly those tables can turn and gambit can end up in the advantageous position the res oh it's not gonna oh it will get much never mind because they just use it to bait out the beast damage of few of these players if they try and go for the plot. They know there's one towards Snoma, or at least they suspect it. The Viper's Pit going to be used. It's available on both teams at the start of this round, but now having been popped makes it so much more difficult for these defenders to get back in. The flanker of Nats has been to delay, and this could be dangerous. Oh, he misses the first. Magnum is caught after just one, but they have no idea where Doma is. It grants him a triple kill and a free round for Fnatic. A single fault. Or the map pick there. There's a lot of information currently there. Magnum, he's actually going to go playing through. And this time, Nats is ready. He was prepared for any level of push coming back from the man who's been doing it all the way through. And now this round is looking a lot better. But they still have Durka to deal with.
Yeah, you'd love to see teams adapt Oops. like that. Durka takes down Devil. Oh! The spray from Mystic. Oh! Lannistage still didn't know exactly where Doma was because they were too busy dealing with Magnum. He played Redgar here, though. This is a big issue. He's managed to hide within the smoke. He bypassed the Tiger. And they will pay. Two kills coming up here. They are eventually going to get themselves onto the site. We know how effective those after plants can be. Durka needs to do well to make sure he holds any further aggression. And actually, Dome is going to go down to the shock darts. This is already a problem. Durka, post right, not cleared. Shade RC whiffs. Durka gets away with a kill in a position where he should be dead. But with Mystic tagged up from every direction, it won't matter for too much more than as it goes. The smoke not there to block off vision. The nade, though. Very good damage to laser push, which surprises me that Redgar runs out so readily to his death as it happens. Mystic busy spraying away at the wolf as the wall drops. Shados is able to catch him off guard. And with the heal up, the shock dart shouldn't be too threatening. Magnum dealt with after just a single kill, and this is looking... Oh, that... So low on HP, even the range advantage is not going to help them out too much. Oh, Defo dead. already just swinging on the corner and Durka at 4 HP. It didn't matter what gun came back around, he was screwed. Here comes the drone that's going to go right on past. And that's the Oh no! That's not what you want. Dome is just double open. He's healing back up after the Viper Util fades away. Chronicle wants to pull something back. He gets into the corner with his teammate. Himself and Shados looking for duels with these players. Well, they've disappeared. It might be against Houdini. Defo, though. Oh, he pulls a magic trick off of his own. He pulls a spike out of a hat. It's right beside him, but he's all by himself. A 1v3 to win out, and it's not there. Dome is a point of contention thus far, and they've come out on top the majority of the time. The showstopper not going to do too much, but it's in combination with Durka's Hunter's Fury. They also have the Seekers to try and clear the angle, and Shados, again, attempts a cheeky play through the smoke. But now with the information to hand, and in fact, Nats, with his head removed from his shoulders, it leaves just two players remaining. But they're only against three. Not a bad spray return from Chronicle. Doesn't take a lick of damage bar the Viper Wall, and takes a kill to put them back in a reasonably doable spot. The drone going out, clears out lamps. Doesn't look like they can see him peeking in from Bath either, but the time is ticking away, and that's ultimately the problem. They need to make a move. The recon goes out. They'll spot nothing from it. Take some damage. They lined up there, but it doesn't seem to matter. Shados on his own. And he won't be like... Battle here going straight into the three-man stack. Oh, on the backside, one is spotted, but Redgar, he swings out wide and <laughs> dies as well. What's going on? Don't even run out of ammo. Pulled out the classic. If that might put a little bit of fear into the hearts of the opponents, never mind. They just peek into it. Oh. He's being tagged up a little bit, makes a move around the side, picks up a weapon, takes down Mystic. Dome is on his way, but Redgar deals with him as well. Oh, what is going on? Redgar walks out for four and only robbed of the ace by the teleport. He's not going to even follow, not going to pursue. Instead, he'll keep the spike in the round win. This is devastating now for Fnatic. They had a good chance in that round. A shock dart to tickle him up 11 HP on there. And in fact, with uh, shock darts and snake bites, I'm surprised none of these come into play in towards Hookah. Even despite that, uh, the, well, not even despite that, they they just lose all the fights. That's uh, Ooh! oh, that was awkward. Thirty seconds uh, Very disappointing round for Gambit there. You know that they, they get everything going their way in the early round. They know that okay, we've given up Hookah control. They have some util they can throw back in. They decide not to, oh, and then those no. duels taken perfectly work out. Twenty seconds left. Okay, Seeker goes out. Shados in the oh! open. He's got another. Backs off. 13 seconds. If he didn't get hit by that, the nade was going through. Instead, uses left. it to cover as he goes over oh, towards the spawn. And Shados threw them in the early stages of that round. And, and still sticks the landing. Tries to get someone from behind. Now, this is another very aggressive push coming out from the defensive side. They have just taken this round into their own hands. Fighting yeah, tooth and nail versus Fnatic. And we talk about displacing them. Not allowing the afterplants. They're not allowing them out of the spawn. <laughs> very true. You know what? Finally, we're getting to see Gambit. To Take us to a third and final map. And Doma, once again, he's going to try and make a play. So much utility to Claire and Nat. Is already going to take his head clean off. He's looking for more. The spike is on the deck and Gambit are just thriving throughout this chaos. Oh, that's gone desperately wrong. Chronicle, he still has his Hunter's Fury. And look at the flank. They've already gone pushing all the way up. Just taking so much control. Nat's already picking off a 
another one, trying to bring back the round. And now the spike's been dropped on the deck into a 2v2. This is over. Durka wants to initiate combat, and it goes his way. Now rotating all the way to A. But Defo, oh no. He hasn't gone behind. He hasn't taken the TP instead. He's going to be tucked in the corner, Tom. This is such a nasty angle from Defo. They don't expect it. He waits for them and shuts <laughs> Fnatic down. Nine on the board. Beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, Fnatic are trying to bring that confidence back in themselves. Get it flowing. All right. Is the mojo there for them? They're all blinded, but still get away with a kill. And now the man advantage is firmly secured. And even further. Okay. Oh, he's got probably the best gun for the job right now as he pulls out the judge and just looks to cleave them up so blind as well a perfect flash place and he will build up away with it without really any trouble at all they're going to look to fall back into those deadly after plant positions and that's still with his snake bites but Fnatic have done well They've turned this into a five on three. The first one lands to at least stop any defusal, but Dirk is just running riot. Another kill coming up for him. Magnum picks off another, and they could have all the after. And they will keep three players on this B site in the early stages. Drone up. Not going to really see anything after that blind goes through. <clears throat> I'm going to dog out long, see what's there. But push is on its way. Oh, Doma has managed to make his way back, throwing out the nade, trying to isolate fights, but gets dealt with very quickly. Luckily, it never really looked like it was going to be successful. They're actually going to pick up the pace. It seems like a similar setup. They, they've still got multiple players here. Doma, in fact, is very deep at the moment, but Nats has come out with a couple of kills and made this one look possible. I think he was even blind when he took down Magnum. That was just a pre-fire that came through. And when Nat's getting that kill, he pops his ult online. That's going to be the site covered for anybody walking out of spawn. He even avoids the, the drone coming through and has a great angle. Oh, you can't even pre-fire this. He knows there's players in towards the spawn. What? How's Durka gotten away with that? Low HP here words. at least, but that, that's disgusting. The Shock Dart <laughs> takes down Shados and Chronicle. One versus two. He's got them both, but no. Well, he might not like how this one goes if he stays in that snake fight for too much longer. The wall's still up as Durka gets caught crossing. There's a good start for the Magnum running out, but again, stuck in the open with a flash in hand. We're down to a 2v3. Fnatic on the back foot. Even trying to destroy poison orbs with bullets. Just an instinct kicking in. Remaining. That's from below. Grabs another and Boaster is left alone. He's completely boxed out of this one. They know where he is. He's down to one HP as his legs are going to be seen coming out. His chances are zero. Instead, hiding behind the site. And here's where Mystic has his side covered. Durka has to do a lot of work on the front lines or else they're going to be in a lot of trouble. And down Mystic goes. A player already made it out of bath on the left side. Durka somehow surviving. And a shock dart through will not finish him off because Redgar's too quick to jump in and find it. Now the man advantage. It's taken out of their hand for just a second. We're swapping back and forth for a second. A lot of damage taken by Chronicle from the wall, but oh, the blast pack from Shados. He's in lamps, he's behind them. And as Magnum tries to make a sneaky play around the side, they're just tucked in. Three versus three, post plan setup, and it's time to just run that clock down for Gambit, but they might not have that option. Red guard down on 40 HP in the open and out of the game. Two players left alive for Gambit. They're going to play this one together, but they need to be quick now. The spike could be being defused. They don't know if it's a fake or not, and it doesn't matter because Durka takes the third TP. And as what? 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 He, he committed to it and got away with that? I was about to say, as I said, glorified recon dart. The dude commits to it, even seeing a player coming for him. What's going on? <laughs> okay, well, that's thrown me off. That's for damn sure. Gambit, 4v4. They're getting pushed on. Oh, they're definitely getting pushed on. Boaster's not messing around. Flash of Smoke's coming out, buying them a little bit more space to play off of, and here it goes. The full aggression after the Hawk, and they only get the one kill. Still man advantage in favor for Fnatic. Mystic extends it further, and Chronicle is alone. The spike not ticking away nearly fast enough, and while well, the bullet to the head is going to close Rocket to send towards them, and he's going to be using that Spectre to rush in while Doma takes down Redgar. Doma's looking for a little bit more as well, but he has to be careful. This player's absolutely everywhere, and he takes one down with a blast pack. Another goes to the orbital strike, and now with the rocket online, it's Shados that's his next victim. Chronicle running away for dear life as the 1v4 looks unwinnable. A bulldog in hand with full armor, saving this might be a priority. Oh, 
they haven't really used any of those after plants. That's what made this team so scary. It's been their retakes. Like, Gambit have been able to get the spike down so many times, but playing a scream, and they're going to go quickly into the site. The showstopper should be able to open up. He's completely blind. He's just shot the wall. Gets absolutely nothing for it. Magnum is going to pick off two instead. Oh, that feels bad. Shade else, Nats fall, and Chronicle, the last man alive to maintain hope of Iceland. A Guardian in hand, and again, a 1v4 clutch. At least the first goes his way. The recon comes out. He's closing in his distance. Sees the barrel, tries the wall bang, but that just gives away where he is. Now Doma dropping a nade, forcing him out of position. They're toying with their food at this point. And Chronicle, oh, he sees him from the side, the wall bang again. A little bit of damage, but not quite enough. Oh, he is on the verge of death. Ever with every passing second, it seems to get closer. The player's now grouping up and ready to push him down. You can feel the tension and you can feel the more conventional after plants just doesn't seem to work for them. They need more space. They need more control. And over the last few rounds, I mentioned Gambit.